two trillion dollar economic stimulus is needed if you are going to reopen the country in a period of weeks, not months? Because the uh, the virus has had a big impact on our country, so we're going to give a, a stimulus so that the workers can live their life. It was not their fault. It wasn't the workers' fault. Uh -huh. And uh, we are going to give a, a kick so that it's a kick. <laughs> and this way, we think the workers can get a fair start. The small businesses we're taking very good care of. We want to take care of these small businesses. They really are the engine of this country. A lot of people don't know that. You know, everyone thinks of these great, big, beautiful businesses, who, by the way, have been very badly hurt also. But the small businesses have really historically been the engine, and they still are the engine of the country. And uh, you'd be amazed. The workers love those businesses, and the workers contact us, and they want yeah, to you too, Trump. those businesses, because that's where they've made their living. That's where they, you know, they've been paid a lot of money over the years. And, you know, you've been seeing what's happened over the last three years, where salaries and wages have gone up very substantially for those workers. And then we got caught by this sudden uh, craziness coming into our country and coming all over the world. So uh, we need to make sure that the companies are strong and that the workers are strong. And that's what we're doing. And, you know, hopefully the uh, Republicans and Democrats are going to be able to make a deal. And they're actually fairly close, but we'll see what happens. Please. What does it still need to be $2 trillion is my question. Can it be well, one of the things you're going to have to save companies that have been shattered. Uh, you're going to have to save uh, various, I mean, you, you know, a lot of the companies yourselves. We have a company that was, uh, I think, the greatest company in the world. Boeing. Named Boeing. Boeing's going to need some help. Mm -hmm. Now, Boeing had some difficulty before. That's unlike others. We have other country, companies that didn't have a problem coming in. Boeing had the obvious problem that everybody knows about mm -hmm. from a little more than a year ago, a double problem, and it was a big one. Uh, and then on top of it, as they're getting ready to really show their stuff on top of it, we all get hit by this. And obviously, uh, the airlines are going to have a problem, but the airlines aren't going to be buying from Boeing or from anybody else right now because of this, uh, this difficulty. So we have to work with the airlines. We have to work with the cruise lines. We have to work with the companies like a Boeing because Boeing's a potentially, again, a great company. It had a very rough period of 13 months, a very rough period, yeah. a horrible period, an unbelievable period. If you would have told me this would have happened to Boeing, I wouldn't have believed it because to me it was you know, truly one of the great, one of the truly great, probably... Uh, almost one point of GDP, if you can think of that. It's hard to believe that uh -huh. a company could have that kind of an impact. But Boeing, we have to work with it uh, for two reasons. Number one, it's a great company that we have to save. Number two, it produces unbelievable numbers of jobs. And uh, so, you know, the numbers uh, have to be reflective of that kind of a thing. Please, you know what I'm going to do? We have uh, wonderful people behind us that are working very hard. And we want uh, Bill to get back to the Department of Justice, and we want the Admiral to start going and doing your job. And, and the same thing with Deb. If anybody would have any questions, maybe I'll ask Mike to stay around, but uh, if anybody would have any questions for the group, and otherwise I'll let them go back to work, please. Uh, Dr. Burks, we seem to be talking about different geographical slopes on this. The curve would be changing. And yet you just said that 20% number is coming out of New York gives an indication that we don't quite know when the seeds, to use your, your metaphor, were planted. So how confident are you on the start dates of each curve for each of the geographical er areas that the president seems to be indicating we'll be adjusting the policy for? 